Welcome back to the NDS. We are here at Bristol Wide for race six. Take a quick look at qualifying. For those who did, those who have to go up through the field. And we are ready to roll. It's going to be a big, long day ahead of us. Base cars off. RS Fast 11. Leads the field to kick off the Office Depot 250. Green, green, green. 84 with a good jump right now. Here comes the rest of the field right now. One lap completed, and here we are. Yep, big zoom out camera to catch it all. They're zooming fast. Toad Warrior takes the front now. Everybody's all over the place. So much to do, so much to see, so what's wrong with taking the back streets? You know, looking at how close and rowdy it can get, it is no surprise it's danger in the midfield. Looking at Tank Gunner just trying to find a lane. Doesn't want to get used up by everybody here. About dropping low, moving up at eight. Looking to make his way up there. The 62 of Hyperdrive is coming up through the field as well. Now I get stuck here. Shuffled out of line. Already, CS Fashion 11 made some narrowly stop. He's a uh, few down already, unfortunate for the 11 team. As now he's going to be close to getting caught again by these guys. He's just going to be spending the whole day with his back against the wall. A very unfortunate turn of events. Whoa, wreck! Oh, it's a big wreck! Oh, they just keep piling in. What the hell? What in the fuck? Yeah, Seto got into the back of Super Sumo, and that just comes down and cleans out a bunch of cars. The Cooker is involved. Born Ready. Ringo. Eastlamp. Hyper. Ben. Sauce. Done tore up a whole bunch of cars today, boys. Early on, big wreck. Forty-five Misty probably got some big piece of it as well. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's only 27 cars on the lead lap after a smorgasbord of retirements. 78, 66, 19, 99, 24, 20, 50, all out of the race. And a few good cars being scored laps down. Up back to the nine, last car in the lead lap. Back to green. Oh, it's going to be a shit show and a half right now. This is going to be a different type of race. The slow cars in the way. Back there. That's just going to be... This shit. Oh, big hit. Born ready. Took a smacker going in turn three. Yells out, yells out, yells out. I mean, he was already off the pace. Kind of considered a mercy kill here by uh, a six. Just um, rides up in the traffic and just gets hit by Jerry pretty hard. Both drivers okay, because no one else is involved. Got a nine on pit road as well. See a good chunk of guys on pit road repairing their damage and taking stops as well. Shit. Hey, CS probably got one of his many laps back. If CS could keep banking on these quick cautions, he might actually get back on the lead lap. Jerry and Bourne out of the race. Puts 25 cars on the lead lap. Back to Toad. There's still so many good points up for grabs. You want to go up and take it, then that's going to be fine. Just got to go get it now. Green flag back out. Good restart for the top two, it seems. Got a few drivers quick stopping right now. Interesting play. We'll just keep running it out with the rest of the guys here. See what happens. Aceto. Not that fast at all. Just the thing is, the slow cars actually have decent cornering speed, but the lead lap cars should be able to out corner those guys. 34 just putting on the speed right now. Out front. It's this return of the shit show right now. RS racing BS for the lead, it seems. CS just also there, just some laps down. Wannabe laps down in the mix. The six looking for a good points day. You know, back out, drive the top 10, you got the four, 
the 14, the 3, and the 29. Got relatively fanned out cars back there, so... Now it looks like he only got two groups of cars racing for position. That 27 is keeping it relatively up front here. Italian bum, Obama hyperdrive just still in the mix. 16th, 17th. All the way back to Fred Jones and Laundry Sauce, last two cars in the lead lap. Okay, maybe Zents as well. Uh, Zents is one lap down. Whoa, pace car out. Pace car, pace car, pace car. That's a caution. Before I even cross the line, too. And it's the seven, it's the number seven again. What is up with the seven team? They were just really slow and they got turned into by CS. Comes back up the track and into the 16 and the 14. Now stuff falls down the banking and that's going to be dangerous. Yeah, as Ben McDonald gets ass packed by laundry sauce. God, what a hit. Check that again one more time. That's bottle of piss. Yeah, the pace car is not real. It can't hurt you. This fucking race, man, it is... Gets even worse. Yeah, some cars that pit it can make it to the end. Others that are just staying out and trapping guys a lap down. Nine comes down pit road as per expected. And the mix of speeds here. This could be a caution filled hellhole with the 62 and the 27 get into it. We stay green. Can't even tell who's Lee laughing and who's not. New leader is the fuck, I don't know. It's not you. Is it the fifty four? Jesus Christ, who the fuck is out front? The twenty nine, yes. Jake's being scored the leader right now. Yes. Racer. Everyone's just kind of stuck right now. How many lead lap cars even are there? Sauce, Ben, everyone on that wreck last was taken out of the race. 15. 14 cars on the lead lap. This race is basically just going to be a case study on why we need to go back to Bristol Dirt. 
but fan this is this is what this is what the fans wanted so x going to give it to them x going to deliver to them knock knock open up the door it's real with the top up 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 stainless steel well, I don't no lyrics I'm going hard getting busy with it but I got such a good heart that I'll make you motherfuckers that I don't know the lyrics some of this memeing around Jesus Christ Vaxxin being scored 24th Toad and Racer on the same lap the 22 is actually in contention to lead this thing this might as well be the worst season 5 race already I'm calling it now Ooh, shit Lap 58 to 150. 84 still mixing in top 20 right now. Iris running 10th. Sense and Canadian Lux are both pretty slow off the jump. Seto trying to catch, but here come the leaders, yeah, catching that 23. The 23 was the instigator of doom that caused the first caution and is likely just going to cascade each subsequent yellow ever since. As Vaxxin gets the spot on the 23. There's still Zents to deal with right there. The guys is trying their best to go as fast as they can. Nick Gamma's up to second. As Kyle D, one of many lappers here. Tiger Man third. The Gamma's in second, and Jake out front right now. In the sea of lappers, what happened to the three? Something's wrong with three of Kyle D. Nice way to pit road safely, though. Now Gamma's out front. Jake's back to second. Tiger Man is still third. Jesus Christ. Maybe if this race goes green the whole way, the guys that pitted under that yellow actually going to big brain it. Assuming green flag pit stops don't bring out a yellow. Honestly, there's... Like, yeah, I do want to say there is some strategy involved in this race. But then again, there are some people who think that pit strategy is, an, is a plague on racing that needs to be eradicated. Hey man, at pretty much every take you can think of, someone probably believes it. Gamma just... Yeah, it doesn't feel like he's leading, but he's leading. So he's just going to lead these laps. The four car. Tiger Man also a very strong candidate for first career win right here. Jake could probably just steal the win for both of them, though. Any other good underdog victory stories? 
Kruger is in fourth, but too far away. Frosty's Auto is in fifth, but that'll be widely a popular win. Then you got these next three. There are four drivers here. You got Fred Jones, BS, Iris, and Italian Bum. They probably don't have the speed to catch up with those guys racing for the lead. Speaking of racing for the lead, Jake and Gamma. We're on a 1 2 right now. That Tiger Man try to sneak it low. With how spaced out the pack is, you could make an argument for longer green flag runs. But then again, you just have some slow guys coming up. Wonder who's next on chopping block. Tide, Zents, and Hyper. I'm honestly kind of a surprise Hyperdrive was able to stay in the lead lap that long. He got damage from the initial caution. And just been riding around ever since. And I guess it's everyone's time eventually to pay the Pied Piper. Whoever that may be. Yeah, they're here. Look at all of this. They got Hamter and Seto. Both really slow right now. Holy hell. We're just trying to find a way to navigate through the lap traffic. That camera got slowed up. Fell back a little bit. Now Jake and Tiger Man are fighting through the traffic. God, he just got a set of holding up a line right now. Gamma still have a top five run so far. But losing contact from those leaders is Jake now slicing through Tiger Man trying to keep up with him. I think this lead group is shaking a few cars off. Which uh, is unfortunate for those who have not kept up. Another development, Iris, is within shot of a top five right now. If he could just catch the eight. The four running fourth right now. And a bit of traffic as well. Still speedy as ever. Lap 99. Tiger Man just knowing who he's racing against. Just needs to stay ahead of that car and he's all good. That car being the number 29. Don't blow it racing all these lappers. Some dangerous may always happen.
Middle of three. Keeping it real. And there goes the 29. Right back up front. Or to the lead, at least. Keep eyes on Krugmeyer in third. That's just low key, just sneaking. That could result in something if the six catches up. Tank Gunner going another lap down. Well, he's not that far off, actually. Kyle D back out there, 27th. All three of these guys want to be, or Zentz, Seto, and Kyle D all racing for a position here. It's a mess. It's a, just a motherfucking mess. Twenty-three is just the op whatever the opposite of speed is. And now a twenty-three could take the rantle for being the slowest car still actively logging laps. I expect that to be Seto very soon. Yeah, they're side by side for it. God damn. Tiger Man fighting back. Could try to fight for the lead right here with 29. Just looking for a little bit more in that 34 car. searching for every last bit of position that he could take advantage of. Jake, going a little extra high there. Joe Mama running 11th, and that's going to be a lap down right there. Really funny is those race those racing ahead of Tiger Man like racer could technically get back and lead lap if they wanted to, but they have to get a caution to fight for that opportunity. And a well timed caution gives a very tough thing to get. That leaves Fred Jones tenth car on the lead lap. More spread out than ever. Jake you might try to take it back. Kind of wish there was like a big, like, camera you could see, like, you could see the leaders go by. And you just see, like, so many different. Well, it just seems like a lot of cars going by, but honestly, there's not many places to run here. Because, like, by the time you're about six or so seconds back from the leader, you're already half a lap down. And third place is not catching up. It kind of fell off a bit, so yeah. Especially with what's happening right now, you definitely see the drivers trying, but are falling back from a chance to fight with the lead here. Yeah, 
if you're one of these guys, how much are you digging versus how much are you trying to save? Because, hmm, it's been a while, and not every car is on the same cycle right now. All I'm saying. Norris Fast 11 and Mal and Racer are battling for their position right now. That's very imperative. Tiger Man struggling to even keep up with Jake right now. So it looks like with 29, he's just running free range of lead laps right now. This is what an onboard of Bristol Wide looks like. It's just insane. And that's the 51 car running 10th. Yeah, you see some slow cars. Trying to mount those banks pretty high. It was like running laps at Drebin in NASCAR heat. Good lord. Someone's going to pass around the left side. Yeah, I see the 42 on pit road. That might be a scheduled stop. This might be it for these guys. 34. The 4 battling the 6. Not sure what they've got. Other lead lap cars. 27 still mixing it up. Remember Logan's coming back out. He's done his service. Gamma is battling the 8 right now. For a position. That's for 4th. Maybe these guys are starting to save. Not sure. Not sure what the 29 has in that tank. That's so many faster cars just all around that you don't know. Thirty-four, trying to keep up. Six and the eight and the four are all there. I don't think I don't think he's gonna come if you're this late in, you might as well try to run it out, save it. Save your shit. Number 29 team. They've got to run long now. There's single digit laps to go. Tiger Man's battling a lot of traffic right now. They're within three to go and there's so much traffic you can't coordinate that shit. To stay out, hope for the best. Two to go. Jake's got to just make it work. Make it go around. 
Hit the white flag. One lap to go. And the 29 is going to stretch it to a win at Bristol Wide. And thank God he made it. As Wannabe and Jake both crossed the line, so they made it work. Yeah, once I think everybody got around to finishing. Yep. The 29 team has done it. Pulling off in their pit boxes right now. Take a look at that. There is your final classifications for everybody here. Jake and Wannabe will count as finished as everyone else. They'll line up in the scores like this. That is all we have for today's race. We'll see you next time. Take care.